Today we're talking about the biggest expense in all of Riesling. What costs you the most money and what also causes you the most problems? Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about the biggest expense, the biggest expense in all of reselling. And that comes down to your time, your labor, how much you invest into the company, how much you invest into your store, listing, sourcing, and the whole works. Now, that's also the biggest problem for most people. If I just had a little more time, I would get so much more stuff done. Most people waste a ton of time doing things that are just not productive, or they'll sit down or take a break or not realize that they're blowing time on things unrelated to work. Most people haven't a clue on where most of their time goes. They may be outsourcing, they may stop, they may talk, they may do all sorts of other things throughout the day and just assume that that's all work. I cut all of that down to the best of my ability and that's the best way, obviously, to save time. Now, for every person out there doing this sort of business, there's a set amount of money that your time is worth. Some people it's a couple hundred dollars, some people it's more. Basically, if I do an hour's worth of work doing my business, I should make set amount of money, two, three, four, whatever amount it comes to for your business. Now, I've worked in corporate America, I've worked in foods, I've worked in retail. The biggest expense we always had was the labor of our staff. Now, my labor, as well as employees under me, could be half of my total expenses. It's usually the biggest expense there is. The best way to see this is to track your hours. Write them down in a sheet. Make yourself a schedule and stick to it. Give yourself a set amount of value per hour and see how much money, how much time you are wasting. When you see it all broken down, let's say you blew five hours stopping here at places you didn't need to stop. You ate lunch while you're out and you sat down and looked on your phone for 10, 20 minutes. All of that adds up throughout the day. I've seen people waste tons of time every single day of the week. And once they wrote it down and calculated a value on it, they stopped doing it pretty much immediately. It's something that anybody can easily do that will honestly and sincerely improve your business. Time is the one thing, as I said, that I always wished I had more of. Now, we have employees, but you don't need employees to have this kind of value. If it's a husband-wife team or two friends or whatever the case may be, you still have that same consideration. I work a lot of hours. If you're working 60 hours and let's say you make about $100 an hour in value for your company for every hour, that's a lot of money in a week. And if 10 of those hours were wasted on things that were non-productive, that could be a thousand bucks every week you are potentially losing by not keeping track and using your hours productively and towards the business alone. Now, I work really hard throughout the day. When I'm done working, though, everything is shut off and I usually don't even look, touch, or do anything with it. I would rather go from start to finish just centered in on one thing on my business instead of getting sidetracked with anything else. When I'm done, I'm done. I don't have to worry about anything. For me, if I'm out, I'll get something quick. I'll eat it in the car while I'm moving. If I'm working, I'm eating and working as well. Any time that I go out somewhere, I am tracking where I'm going so maybe I can kill two birds with one stone and hit a couple places and not waste time there. If I'm working, I don't go and sit down and chat with somebody. If it's not work-related, I won't sit down and take a break on the sofa or anywhere else or watch something. I just don't waste my time throughout the day. If I've started, say, at 6 o'clock in the morning, that's my only concern is my business. So throughout the day to whenever I stop, it's only business-related. Wasting time time is something that's going to happen, but you can mitigate most of that. Mitigating the loss, the cost of your hours is really easy. As I said, just start writing it down. Just take a piece of paper, write down how many hours you're working per day of the week. Calculate it out. Make sure that if you take a break, you're deducting that time every minute. I would also recommend writing down what you're doing when you're taking a break throughout your workday. You may realize that you're taking the same type of breaks that's not necessary constantly, and that could be costing you two, three, three hours a week. Now, most people don't monitor their time. If let's say you take a break for something that's non-work related, you're not going to write that down. You're not going to realize or even think about that possibly at the end of the week when you look at it and say, hey, I don't have a lot done this week. Now, this is honestly the biggest problem, the biggest headache for everybody. At the end of the day,
day, I always wished I had more done. I always wished I had a few more hours to do something. It's always my stumbling block. If I had a few more hours in the day, I would probably be able to be at another level at this point. Now, there's nothing you can obviously do about the amount of hours in a day, but you can adjust the amount of time you're putting into your business and make sure that it's all center focused just on your business. Stop wasting the time. You will be surprised at how much more money you can make by simply not wasting your time, by tracking, by marking down how many hours you're working, by actually looking at those numbers. And as I said, set a value for your hours and then calculate how many hours you did something that wasn't work related that wasted your time. How much value is that? If you're wasting two or three hours a week, again, as I said, that could be two or three hundred dollars you could have made out of that same time. I always look at my time as an asset, a value to my company. So if I'm working 60 straight hours just for my business, I'm accomplishing set amount of money, set amount of revenue coming back for that time. But if you're working 60 hours and actually only investing 45 into it, you're wasting 15 hours of time that you may think is accomplishing something for you, but really isn't. Yet everything has a value, a cost to your business. If I've got employees and they're wasting time or they're not doing something, it could be costing me money because they have to be able to get so much stuff up to garner or revenue coming back for it to be worth the while. So I look at me, my personal hours, my personal decisions on what I do and what I do throughout the day as part of my business structure. I have to be diligent and keep those hours strictly business related hours. I don't mess with small chat when I'm out. I don't mess with sitting around or hanging out usually during business time. Now, obviously, if it's my time, I'll sit there and chat and do whatever else with friends and family and other business acquaintances. But when it's business, it's business. I've got a business set mind on that. I have to keep it to those status points. Because if I veer off and start chatting on all types of different topics, or I stop to say hi, or I do this, or I do that, all of that's costing me money. It's not being unfriendly. This is my work-related time. Now, the biggest factor and easiest way to figure out if you're wasting time on non-business related activities is to look at it from the point, if you were working for somebody else, would you be able to do those things? I can't stop at Joe's house to say hi while I'm out working for somebody else when I have a delivery to be made, for an example. I can't sit there and talk for 20 minutes on the floor to somebody if I'm supposed to be stocking a shelf for somebody. That's not business related. If I can't do it for somebody else, I don't do it for myself. That's a good example on what I'm talking about here, why it's so important. There's a reason you can't do those working for somebody else. It's the same reason you shouldn't want to do any of those activities as your own business owner, your own company, your own revenue stream creator. You can't do that. So whether you realize it or not, your hours are an expense. You may not write them off on your taxes. You may not have to pay labor hours for it, but it's costing your business, your company, your store, whatever you're running, money, no matter what. Again, my time is worth money. That's why certain things I can't do or can't afford to do because I could make so much more money doing something else. I'm a reseller first and foremost. I don't have time to do a lot of other extra things, especially with like social media, for example. My time is invested in making money from reselling. That's where most of my revenue comes from. So unfortunately, it limits how many things I can answer, how many posts I respond to, or any of that sort of thing. I have to steer all of the business towards a specific amount of revenue coming in for that investment. Nobody wants to invest a ton of hours and not get a return on that investment. That's the bottom line here. The more you invest into your business, straight time, no goof off, no stop and saying hi, no any of that stuff, the better off your business will be. It's just a plain and simple fact of reality. Again, if I can't do it for somebody else, I'm not going to do it for myself either. This is my sincere and honest opinion on the best way to get your time running in the right direction. Most of you out there are wasting far too much time doing things unrelated to the main aspect of your business. But anyway, that's what I have for you. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
otherwise known as the old grind, the old rat race, chasing the buck, or what have you. Looks familiar, doesn't it? It gives you a jolt sometimes when it hits you that everything you do or don't do in this business directly affects profit. 